Hey up guys, welcome back to part number six of the Academy AH1Z helicopter build. So last week we painted and decal the aircraft and this week we're gonna do weathering. So we're gonna do a um, three, three stages. We're gonna sand back some of the paintwork, we're gonna add a clay wash and we're gonna come back with neat oils. So this won't be too long, I think this video is about 14 minutes long. So um, pretty short and sweet. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, welcome back. So this week we're going to talk about weathering. So last week we did the decals and painting and everything. So did a little bit of weathering ready kind of get this going. So as we spoke about last week, we used a bit of like the um, exhaust soot kind of wash from MRP. I call it wash more than the paint back end here. And you see I kind of beat it up a little bit um, per kind of what I did with my um, this decals coming off there um, with my F18. Um, so take an old sponge and just giving it a rub over and um, we're wiping with that paint which basically gives you uh, brings through the black kind of primer underneath and creates like a worn effect you can kind of see what i've done um, around the certain areas um, gone over the decals too kind of worn those back and back here it went a little bit too much and wiped away some of the decal on that one i don't mind it it kind of looks we'll add it to the weathering just coming right away so yeah that one's kind of coming off um but yeah gotta be very careful with the photo etch on here but basically first thing i'm doing is going around with a sponge again and just wiping it paint work away and it's basically um, yeah just kind of roughing it up the edges and creating some um, nice kind of worn effect on here so yep so I've done most of that already before I you see already come gone round and done a lot of this already maybe a little bit more bottom here again you can see how it's kind of wearing the paint away it creates that kind of nice weathered look and then yeah so I think I'll wipe away all the dust and then we'll come back and start doing some washes of that so that's that part done i'm gonna go ahead now and uh, right so next stage is the wash so we sanded it back a little bit create some distress and we're gonna wash so this side i've done already i just wanted to try it out see how it worked so this bit's done compared to this side which is not done so you see the difference hopefully um so it's all raised detail so i want something a little different on this one um if i do the normal thick panel um thick wash clay wash it's going to kind of be tricky to remove and stuff so what i did was a little bit dirtier back here so i took my usual dark dirt wash flory models and you can use neat so what i actually did with this one was i actually diluted it probably about 80 percent water to 20 percent of the um of this guy it's just really kind of made it runny and, th and thin. So if you can kind of see here my brush, you can see how like thin it is. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm, again, I've done this side, I'm not done this side yet. So I'm just gonna to just splash it all on and see, and again, see how runny this thing is. all over and it's as easy as that so I'm, I'm gonna let it dry for about 30 minutes and we'll come back and remove it um, but yeah again you can see the bottom here too we're kind of like a little messy hopefully in the light you can see um, you know, I'm going a little bit more here where I kind of broke the decal and just certain areas. Okay, a little bit more in there. So yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna let this guy dry for about 30 minutes, like I said, and we'll come back and we'll take it off. All right, so it's been about, ooh, probably a bit, almost an hour now, so the wash is dry to come off. Um, just wanna show you what cool effect I got. The same, doing the same on the um, the doors here for the avionics bay. It kind of looked out good where it all pulled and kind of, well, perfect. So I kind of really like the grime and the dirt on that. Um, so yeah, let's take care of the, the big guy here. So I'm just gonna tear off a little bit of a kitchen towel and, Look at a little bit, 
and then literally just rub it off. Now, with aircraft airplanes, you're going to do the flow direction flow, so it's kind of like forwards or backwards. With the helicopters, you've got rotor blades, so it's going down, so you go up and down. So first we'll get the bulk of it, and then run it up, up and down. Remember too, we obviously got the wing winglets too, which we've already done um, off camera here. Got these guys, which all you know, I did while I was waiting. Um, so I actually did a dedicated video back oof, a while back now, but if you check my channel, um, I think it's ten steps to weathering, and I basically talked talk through ten steps I did to paint and weather these guys um, in a separate video. Oh, almost dropped it. Let's just go around here. Mm -mm -mm. Take some of this off. Now I don't want it super shiny. I do want to leave some of this dirt on here, obviously. I don't want to like, take it all off. Then the tail, I actually, um, if you did dark dirt, you wouldn't see it. So I actually added gray for that one. So gray was a color I used um, on black. So you see on that side how you can kind of make it out. So we'll come take that off right now, the gray. And you can see gray works really good with any black. So if you're doing any kind of like, like um, night fighters and World War II, that kind of stuff, gray is a good color for the black. And that is essentially it. Oh, I just knocked a piece off too. I'm not sure what I knocked off. Um, anyway, so yeah, looking good. I'm just gonna go over it, you know, off camera and do a little bit more, just tidy it up a little bit. But yeah, essentially adding the wash and taking it off. And as you can see, you know, adds some nice kind of effects. Um, you can finish there, but I'm gonna go ahead and do oils as I always do, I like to use neat oils. So before I use neat oils, I need to come back and do um, XF86, which is a flat coat, flat clear. So I'm gonna give this cold thing a flat coat. Um, this is my final clear coat of the modeling. Um, so not only is it, obviously it creates a final coat, like it's a clear coat, but it, you need flat um, for oils. Cause if, you, if I put in, uh, if I put oils on right now, it just rub right off. So this flat um, adds some texture and some um, bites. So when you come with oils, it, it will stay on. Um, don't make a mistake trying to put oils, neat oils over um, gloss coats because they just, um, yeah, like I say, it'll just wipe right off. You want kind of stick. So let me kind of just go ahead and touch this up a little bit more, and then um, I'll go ahead and hit the flat coat, and then once that's dry, we'll come back and we'll talk about the neat oils. Right. So let's now this is dry. Um, the flat coat. We've done the wash. Um, so now it's time to do some neat oils. So I'm gonna use. I think for this color, I fancy some Starship Filth. Um, Aptile Long, as always, um, good quality oil paint. About five, six dollars per tube, but this thing lasts, these guys last forever. Your whole modeling career pretty much used to so a little bit. Um, so, paper towel or a bit of cardboard. Just gonna put a little bit on here. It's literally all you need, about that much. And I got some Ogla thinners. Some enamel thinners is what you're gonna need. And a selection of brushes. These are what use my oil paints. I have a one for putting it on, um, a soft kind of brush for blending. And this one's a little bit more firmer, though it's, you see there, it's been um, well used and well loved. Well, it's actually, <laughs> top's broken off. So what we're basically gonna do with this part is just gonna basically follow the power lines. Um, and reminding as well, with being a helicopter, it's got the weathering wants to go up to down, um, not cross like with, a, with an aeroplane. So I'm just gonna take some oil, wipe some excess off the brush, and I'm just gonna follow some of these power lines. Okay, so I did those here, there, and then I'll come back with my, this brush, I'm just gonna like put makeup on to blend it.
And with this, less is more. You don't want to put tons on. Okay, then hopefully you guys can see that the camera's gonna pick it up so well compared to the other side. So again, less is more on this. I don't want to go too crazy. Definitely want to put some bunch back here where the um, the, the decal kind of ripped. So I'm just following the pound lines. And just come back with this. Okay, so you kind of get the idea there, so what I'm doing, so I'm just creating, again, just some um, extra layer of colors. Um, you don't want to put any kind of clear coat over this, I'll just let this dry naturally um, over a couple of days. So I'm going to work my way around um, the rest of the aircraft off camera, um, and we'll come back and I'll kind of show you where I'm at. I'm not going to go too crazy with this, I'm just going to add a little bit here and there. Alright, so literally 10 15 minutes work, and I've done the whole thing here, you can see that side. Nicely getting grimed up and dirty and just it's gonna look really good once all the, pro the rotors go on and the winglets and all the weapons and stuff. And on the other side too, you can see on the camera how it all kind of goes on. So it's gonna mellow down, um, always does with these oils. So I started with the Starship Filth, I used a couple of other colors. I did a couple of little streaks with um, engine grease just back here. They're all very similar colored palettes. And Oh, you know, I used the wrong color. I thought I was using smoke, but I picked sepia out by accident. <laughs> Mr. So I used sepia. Um, I thought I used smoke, but I used sepia on a couple of um, little things too. So, um, yeah, I don't know how I managed that one. I guess both five letters and uh, we have S. But anyway, so that's what I've done. Um, so that's where we're up right now. Um, looking nice and grimy and stuff. Now, having said that, now I might have to get the smoke out and um, do a couple of um, overdo, change a couple of colors to smoke because um, these are all very similar color palettes. So yeah, looking really good, liking how it's turning out. Um, once everything goes, we're not far away now because all the little bits and kind of extra bit parts are already built. So like these guys are already done, ready to glue on now. Um, we've got the rotor blades are done, um, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, almost at the end on this one. So it's actually looking really good. I'm really happy how it's turning out. So um, cool. So let me go ahead and I guess put the sepia back and get the smoke and I'll just tidy up um, a few things on here and we'll be done.